Hey everybody, Health Coach Erin here. Uh, today you're on one of my lunch walk and talks uh, with me on a beautiful day here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Uh, today I wanted to talk with you about free radicals. Dun dun dun. We've all heard of free radicals. Um, and I wanted to explain what exactly a free radical is and how they're caused and what they do to the body. And then a little bit about how we can counteract the negative effects of those free radicals. Free radicals are basically toxic byproducts from processes that naturally occur within our bodies. So, um, oxidation is the process that produces, or one of the things that produces free radicals. Oxidation is kind of something that produces a, like rust in the body. So when you see metal that's been exposed to water and wind and air and all those kinds of things and you see rust, um, that's kind of what we can think of as oxidation in our own bodies. When too much oxidation happens is when problems occur um, and it can cause damage to molecules and cells and muscles and tissues and things like that. So we don't want too much oxidation. Oxidation is caused by, like I said, natural processes such as respiration. Um, so just by virtue of breathing and being alive, uh, this process happens in the body. What happens is when there's too much oxidation, we get what's called oxidative stress. And that was what I was mentioning when we start having damage occurring in the cells. So other things that can cause uh, free radicals to form and oxidative stress are things like environmental exposure to things that we know aren't good for our bodies, um, even stress internally in the body. So kind of unre unresolved stress, like we've talked about before, that kind of happens in our lives, um, which is normal. But again, that's another reason why it's important to find ways to counteract and mitigate uh, the effects of that stress. Um, so, when we're kind of when our bodies are kind of bombarded with the oxidative process and free radicals those free radicals are unstable and so they basically steal electrons from stable cells and can begin to rapidly multiply um, this is when we start seeing um, dis-ease in the body everything from premature aging and wrinkles to cancer. So this is another reason why it's uh, really important to recognize what types of things can cause those free radicals and, and the damage that's caused by them and learn how to mitigate that. Um, so one of the things that you've also probably heard about in answer to those free radicals is antioxidants, kind of the, the superheroes of foods that we eat. Outside of learning how to manage, uh, healthy ways to manage stress that we all encounter, um, another tool in our tool belt and probably, in my opinion, um, one of the most important things that we can do is learn how to incorporate all those healthy antioxidants in our nutritional plan and have another defense mechanism um, to help protect us and protect ourselves and uh, get those free radicals out of there, stabilize those molecules and um, protect ourselves even further. So if you wanna know more about antioxidant foods and how we can incorporate those into our daily nutritional plan, I'm here to help. Please reach out and I'd love to talk with you more about it. Thanks.